Hi YouTube, how's everybody? This is Dee Dee Blast, SoundCloud, the Black Madonna. Um, I, I um, I want to. I hope this doesn't shut off on me. When I do a chat, uh, I would appreciate it if you know if I could just talk as long as I want to. You know what I mean? Um, I'm just coming in to shoot the breeze with y'all. No, I, I I love fellas very much now. Y'all know that. I do. But I just want to say this. You know what? I met this dude four years ago, been supporting him, you know, um, you know, commenting and doing, you know, you know, f following his channel and wherever he's on and he has a new one, I'll go and I'll make comments and things like that. So, um, that was just before I left Facebook. Everything was a mess. I just left that shit. And, you know, I like YouTube better. Okay, so, um, so we've been, you know, all right, so, the, uh, in the, okay, last year or so, I don't know what made him do that, but he called me at uh, 3 o'clock in the morning. I thought it was, like, breaking news, you know, because I didn't have a channel yet. I was helping him with his channel. And, uh, you know, I was giving him, you know, uh, news and, and I was commenting and I was really supporting him, you know. All right, so um, he t he calls me at three o'clock in the morning, telling me how he like to put a woman legs behind her earlobes, and then you you know what I mean. And and we had like we already was commenting and stuff on YouTube as far as his channel for two years, and then for like almost two years we've actually we we've come in contact with each other over the phone, you know. And uh, so I'm ready to do business, you know, be professional and stuff. So he says he got to be careful who he give his dick to. Because one girl shot at him, and one other girl hit herself and told the cops that he did it, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, and getting into, like, where he has money. You know, like, see, when you walk by niggas, and they they, they, they speak, speak up loud, oh, yeah, I'm so four ounces now, you know, I got that dough now, you know. It, like, when a woman walk by, like, I'm supposed to make myself available because you shouting to me what you got. See, y'all can't complain about uh, gold diggers because <laughs> y'all be, um, the, in order for you guys to get interested in this woman and for this woman to get interested in y'all y'all always bring up y'all money y'all always bring up y'all car y'all always bring up oh i just bought a new house knowing your bitch lady your wife but you telling her that this dumb bitch oh he got some girls that oh he got money see you know somebody famous her said this but they got it from me you understand so i'm saying it again you know like i'm supposed to make myself available you know oh he got money oh oh look yeah. and jump in his car with him drink beer smoke weed next thing you know we at the motel i found out the motel is cheaper than the hotel so we are a motel out your drawers bang bang boom to hut one hut two high and, and told her to take a hike. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, he got money, but he ain't do nothing but give you dick. He ain't give you no money. He ain't, ain't going to give you no damn money. <laughs> See, that's how y'all get into the uh, gold diggers. That's what y'all get for gold diggers. Now, if this girl start going with you, whatever, and she always want a bag, she always want a purse, she always want a pair of shoes, and then that's what you announce you because you paid, ain't you? And when the bitch find out that you not paid at all, she dump your ass. And then your feelings get hurt. And you go home and your wife got to rub your back and treat you like a baby and have real love sex. Because you got your feelings hurt because a hoe didn't care. <laughs> she should have ran up your money. Now she with the next nigga with the bigger dick and the bigger purse. If you ain't no nigga. All right. So anyway. So he called me to let me know that, you know. So what he was doing was letting me know he got a big dick. And not only is it a big dick, it drive women crazy, so that's good dick. You understand what I'm saying? So, it, it, like, so for you to come in contact with a woman, you know, who has showed you nothing sexual, has not spoken to you about anything sexual, okay, and you call her up, what made you feel comfortable enough to call Dee Dee Blast at 3 o'clock in the goddamn morning talking about how good your dick is and how big it is? I, I thought it was a break, new, breaking news. I said, oh, this is him. Oh, so I, I mean, I was sleepy as hell with my kid. What you doing calling this late? You know, and he, he want to talk about how big his dick is. And he got a lawsuit coming. And he, he, he shows his Lexus on TV. You know, he's, he's a man. He got, I was supposed to, you know, you know. And then I've been celebrating seven years, right? And if I hadn't gone to the trailer visit to see my husband after he robbed them banks, if I, if I didn't go to the trailer visit, 
it would be 16 years, no sex. So <clears throat> doesn't that tell you when a woman says that, like, basically, she ain't looking for no free, freaky, fast, keep your dicky, dicky, and your quickie. And who the fuck said somebody wanted your dicky, dicky, and your quickie? You know, the men wanted you wait. And see if a real woman wants you. You understand what I'm saying? Won't you, t you, you know, y'all so used to dealing with chicken heads, turning into chicken heads. When y'all run into a real bitch, you don't know how to act. And you don't. And I'm just keeping it 100. You don't. So I walk away from shit like that. So now let me tell y'all this. I done did 50 fucking videos with this nigga. In the last week... Now, I'm doing his, his news, I'm the co-host, and uh, the editor, and the reader, okay? Now, I'm doing his shit at 12 in the afternoon, and I gotta do my shit, I write my shit out, I gotta, you understand? So, when I do his, I gotta write his out too, and read it, and pre-roof, pre-pre, <laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about, pre-read, proof-read, proof-read, and then proof-read his shit, and then he gotta turn around, we gotta do a show for him at 5, so one thing that, that ties me out, it wears me out, and then I'm, I got to do my own news. Janet, does that make sense, y'all? Well, anyway, the thing says I have 27 subscribers. Today, it said I had 26 subscribers. I just got him told in the last two or three hours. So I got 25 subscribers. So I know his, he was the 26 that bounced out. See, good. You understand? Go find love. You know, legs open very easy. Don't come over here. And I, and you know what I hate, y'all? I hate when you're really trying to be somebody's friend. And you just, you know, you, you really, you know, want to feel natural and comfortable with someone that you can talk to. I told y'all that. Find somebody you trust that you can, you know, maybe have conversations with but what the fuck made him think that he was gonna call my house at three o'clock in the morning and then say oh and then he said you horny ain't you y'all come on <laughs> you could tell me you at three o'clock in the fucking morning y'all okay so uh i was flabbergasted i was too tired to cuss him out or get him told i wanted to get him told so bad so i stopped talking to him so okay he called me okay so now I tell him what he did okay and you know what, y'all? <laughs> when that video showed my teeth after I was singing my song and I smiled, I, you know, I'm free. You know what I'm saying? I'm beautiful. I'm free. I got two teeth missing on one side and one teeth missing on the other side. Y'all see my teeth is white <laughs> on this video. So, you know, when I get some money, I'm hustling. I spent 300 so far. <laughs> I did. <laughs> and I go for my cleanings and, you know, good cavities and root canals and things like that. Of course, absolutely. It's just that I have that, you know. So, well, anyway, he ran out on me, y'all. Uh, you know how we started? When, when he seen that video, he ran out on me. And guess what? His teeth so fucked up that he gonna need trillions of dollars to fix his shit. And he got a lazy eye, too. And know what? And Diana Ross got a lazy eye, too. And you know who else got a lazy eye, too? Denzel Washington got a lazy eye. <laughs> big, big papa. He had a lazy eye. See, my eye don't stay over there. It's just it gets tired, the muscle. I told y'all when, when I was two years old, the doctor told my mom, hey, she has a lazy eye and I can fix it. I just, you know, cut her eye and go in and tighten up the muscle. My my mom just, I was two years old, so my mother was like, hell no, she's beautiful, anyway, let her have her lazy eyes, so okay, blah, all right, so what I want to know is, when you look good, you looking for a girl to look good, make sure you look good. If you're looking for a girl to look good, you want to look good, look good, look, listen, <laughs> make sure you look good. Make sure your shit is straight. You understand what I'm saying? My shit is I need to get my teeth, um, uh, those two, uh, those teeth are replaced. It's going to cost a few bucks. So, you know, I, I'm concentrating on everything. So, uh, that's a priority of mine, but it's, it's not a 911, you know, because I'm still beautiful. You know what I mean? It's no big deal. So, all right. So, okay. So, um. All right, so we started talking again, you know, so um, I had missed a couple of videos. I was so tired. We did 50 of them, shit. So I was exhausted because I had did my own, and I was it was messing up my sleep pattern and uh, in my own videos, you know. And um, so, uh, so I said I was sorry that I missed the video, right? Now, we on, we on live, y'all. We live. Okay, now before we went on live, I texted him early that morning and told him my apologies. I overslept yesterday for the videos. All right, and then so I said, I'm really sorry. I really was. I, I didn't mean to oversleep. I just was laying down for just a quick nap. And the next thing you know, I was asleep. And I jumped up. Oh, shit, the shows, you know. So, okay, so I caught the show. And I, I got what I, my news reports and things ready for him. And now we have separate uh, folders. I have his own reports and I have mine. 
Okay, so um, we on air. So we did a video. Uh, please let this roll on uh, YouTube. Okay, so we on air, right? So we live. So the story that we were doing uh, was about a woman uh, doing drugs and, and messing around with 17-year-old boys and having them sell and do drugs too. So that, you know, she was arrested, blah, blah, blah. So now in the, I wrote the whole, I read the whole story. I wrote the whole story. Okay. So, um, 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 where am I going? I'm sorry. Yeah, I wrote you. So we, you, okay. Now I finished the story, right? Yeah, she making excuses for everything and missing appointments and ain't going to school. And it, that's a lie. The lady was 29 years old, y'all. She was, you know, she ain't had no business with these boys and then doing drugs and stuff like that. So that's, you know, so it didn't say a goddamn thing about her missing an appointment or she's making excuses and blase. I don't do drugs. <laughs> so if y'all looking for Dee Dee Blast to be doing drugs on the low, you can forget that. Get that right out your head, huh? I don't do drugs. This lady was doing drugs, but it didn't say anything about her missing any appointment or, you know, or making an excuse. It didn't say anything like that, y'all, at all. I'm very smart. I'm reasonably educated. I, I comprehend. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> so I said, listen, we live. <laughs> you want me to give it to you live? Oh, you want to talk about this behind the scenes, you know? So I cussed his ass out. I got him told. And I told him I was sick of his ass. Every time I, I'm, I'm not really giving you no flavor that you want, you act cold. And you act, you know, and like, nigga, please. And don't act cold. Why? <laughs> nigga, please. Bye-bye. And um, ask any of my niggas, bye-bye, my motherfucker. Let me help you pack. Bye-bye. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> You son of a bitch. And when I saw, when I decided, I said, well, listen, I'm getting ready to do me a channel, you know. All right. So I started my channel probably three months ago. So it's, a, it's just beginning. You can't build Rome in one day. This is going to be a hot channel because we're going to have other stuff to do besides news. It's going to be hot because of the news, because it's good and you need to hear it, you know. So and then the other things we're going to do is going to make it good, too. So. All right. So listen. Right. So. OK. So. Uh, so I put up my own channel. And he gonna tell me put gospel talk radio on. I I I I was a little reluctant to do it at first, and then I said, well, I guess it wouldn't be so bad. So I did it, and I realized he pump he he, he if he pumping out, you ain't getting no pump out on me, bitch. With my videos, I work hard for my videos. I really put them shits together. I, I research the news, and then I sit there and write all of it out. My handwriting, me. And then I have to proofread it. You know, you understand? And then I have to practice it again to make sure it's good. And then I load it to YouTube. And then, I, you know, you understand? I got to find a title, you know, a proper title. You, you know what I'm saying? So, and uh, so I, I just don't understand, like, well, uh, you know, well, <laughs> and you know what, y'all? Around the time when he told me that he wanted to put my ankles uh, behind my earlobes, y'all know what? He, he, uh, on his page, it said Mar Mary, February 4th. So the time that you was trying to sniff and snuffle around my clean fucking panties, bitch, you, he has somebody. See, that make me so angry with a man. Don't fucking come bothering me. And don't bother no single one minding her business and you know you got a little rag at home. And I'm sorry to say rag at home. You know, I don't mean to say it like that old ball and chain. You know, don't you got, if you got a tail, don't even walk up to me. If you got infants, little toddlers under 10 years old, I don't want nothing to do with you. I think it's foul for a woman to go with a man and he just had an infant. They still together. Nigga be lying, telling y'all we not together. We not having sex. If they ain't having sex, because wifey done closed them golden gates. Wifey closed the golden motherfucking gates. Okay. <laughs> don't be believing that shit messing with a married man talking about something he had a baby and this and that and all of that and all of that and you don't care you better care because that'll be you later on anytime you find a nigga trying to throw down on you and telling you lies and dogging his wife just to get the pussy from you wifey don't take it in the ass you do wifey don't suck a good dick she's not a pro at this thing here you are you, do you understand what I'm saying? And that's why guys treat us the way they do. Because of some of the stupid, nasty, dirty shit. Stupid shit that y'all do. Now, you know, my husband, huh? He got, huh? Back in the, huh? My daughter was born in 99. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? My marriage was shit. My father died 2000. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> I had a bitch that I knew since I was 15 years old. And from 15 all the way to grown ass women, we always see each other and hug each other. And say, oh, I miss you and everything like that. And how you doing? You, you know, I had another baby. Oh, I did too. Feel me? So I saw her one day <clears throat> and she was a little different with me. She was with her friend. A lot of girls, like four of them. So I, I saw her, and it was just as normal with me, the same, like, hey, you know, how you doing? How's everything, you know, and hug and shit? Not that day. So I said, I just moved around here. You live around here? You know, she said, oh, I'm on Whitfield, be, trying to be smart. I said, oh, <laughs> let me guess, number what the number was. I said the number. I said, oh, let me guess, uh, that, with you know, Whitfield. And she, you know, turned around to her girls and tried to stunkle it up. Y'all, what she do that for? Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. The only reason that I did not strangle that fucking bitch, all of this going on. So I told her the cat is out the bag and really don't nobody care, you know, and, uh, you know, so she, I, I went off. I started going off on her ass. I was ready to get it in, you know, because you know, I'm trying to be your friend. I, and then I realized, oh, okay. So that's how I put the shit together. When I got mad and all that and I had to call her, well, nasty ass, and her, her, fr her friends left her standing there. And she looked so stupid because the niggas was on the block and everything. And I'm trying to go home after I got my kids from school, you know, and I, I gave it to her, I got her told, I didn't string you, that was the bitch, y'all, that was fucking my husband, and had a baby by my husband, born the same year that my daughter was born, me and her was pregnant at the same time, my dogs knew, that's why I don't chat with my dogs too much, my dogs knew, everybody knew, everybody knew, but Dee Dee Blast, Dee Dee Blast was the last one to find out, you understand what I'm saying? So, you know, people is trifling. So y'all better look out for yourself. And y'all niggas, y'all better choose one chick. Y'all 30, y'all about to be 37. Y'all, that's 40, yo. <laughs> y'all some old niggas and old bitches. If Diddy Blast old, y'all old too. Diddy Blast still in her 40s. <laughs> and y'all creeping up on y'all 40s. So I got music. I look good. I smell good. I, 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 I'm a very positive person. I'm a very trustworthy type of person. But I ain't for a whole lot of shit. Y'all know what I'm talking about? You know? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm shooting the breeze with y'all because, you know, this dude. So anyway, so um, we did the 50 videos, right? So here he go. Um, yeah, well, she be making excuses and this, you know, and I, like, if I already apologize to you about something, don't wait later on until we on live or all in front of people to try to embarrass me that I missed a show or two. Couldn't you have done that as a man before we went live, y'all? What Do y'all think that or do y'all think it was okay for him to do that? You know, when you go on the radio station and you, you know, you, you I'm hosting and y'all talking, you get on the communication got to be right. Cause that is, I said, wait a minute, hold up. We live. I said, wait a minute. We live. I said, nigga, don't, I know you don't want me to get you told live. I said, you better listen, let's take a break. And I told him, you know what? Fuck you getting up to do your, your fucking shit, writing your shit out all night. And then you want to do a shows on at 12 o'clock noon. And then you want to turn around, and do more shows at five. You know, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm looking up this shit for him. And, and then I'm looking up shit for myself. I have to write my own damn news out. So I told him, you know what? I got my own news channel. And if y'all notice, it says Didi Blast SoundCloud. No more gospel talk radio. I got rid of that shit. Now, he's trifling. He is. And I don't like a man uh, got married February 4th. But on my phone at 3 o'clock in the morning, want to put my ankles by my earlobes. And you a pastor. You supposed to be a man of God. You know what I'm saying? He smokes cigarettes. And I don't even think he know the Ten Commandments. And you know what? And he trying to have sex with Dee Dee Blast. Why can't I ever just... Y'all probably like, well, what is it? Well, you got to see me in person then, obviously. But I'm being stalked. This nigga right here, I'm telling y'all about, we can't never get nothing professional business done. Because he always got his, maybe she'll let me. Got his dick in his hand. You, you never give a bitch a chance, a real bitch anyway, a chance to see if she like you back. A chance, like, make, you know, it's easy, brother, you know what I'm saying? You, you, like, you, you know, but they, they like them quick, fast, girl. oh, yeah, look at them thighs, oh, that butt cheek is hanging out of them shorts. Fuck her real quick, it's over. You'll call her when you're feeling freaky again. But in the meantime, you trying to find a bitch like me. All right, thank you for listening. Um, I'm going to do some news tonight, y'all. I got some news written out, so I'll see you guys uh, after dark. 
Okay, uh, have a great day, the rest of your afternoon. Carry on, carry on. Okay, bye-bye.